そっか Hey everybody, Dizzy Rose here, and I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we will be focusing on a more popular topic here, a dinosaur video. We will be doing another top 10 predatory theropod video with some exceptions of honorable mentions. Dinosaurs are one of the most known animals and most popular extinct creatures that are talked about. We will be looking at the biggest land predatory dinosaurs of our earth, and they are commonly called theropods dinosaurs. There are sizes for some of the creatures that can be confusing to the public and change all the time due to more research being done on them. Even some estimates are subject to change even after this video. Theropods are generally classed as a group of Ceriscian dinosaurs. They were ancestrally carnivorous, although a number of theropod groups evolved to become herbivores and omnivores. Theropods first appeared during the Carnian age of the late Triassic period, 231.4 million years ago, and included the majority of large terrestrial carnivores from the early Jurassic until at least the close of the Cretaceous, about 66 million years ago. In the Jurassic, birds evolved from small specialized coelurosaurian theropods. Basically, I did a video similar to this back then but that one is now outdated, and we have much more new information and dinosaurs to go over. Also, some of you already know that certain creatures go by just INDET, or SP, since they don't have a described name yet, or are just too fragmentary to actually name the creature. This is a paleontological abbreviation that signifies a lack of sufficient distinguishing features on a fossil to place it in a specific genus or species. I will add some goofy material as well to make this theropod video more interesting and unique. So don't take every estimate 100% seriously for the fragmentary, dubious individuals, guys. Honorable mention one is Torvosaurus teneri and Gurnei. It lived about 163 to 145 million years ago. These animals were both around the same size at around 11.5 meters and 5.2 tons respectively. Honorable, mention two, is Sucomimus tenerensis. These spinosaurids were 12.14 meters and 5.4 tons, making them the size of some elephants. Honorable, mention three. Tyrannosaurus rex smaller cousin Tarbosaurus was a known predator in the Asia continent. This Tyrannosaurid was about 10.94 meters and weighed around 5.4 tons. Honorable mention four. Tarovenator violanti with it was around 11.8 meters and 6.1 tons. Initially known only from an isolated post-orbital bone. Later, a larger associated specimen with partial skull and forelimb elements was found, though its relation to the holotype is still debated. So that means some material could be from a whole different theropod relative further contributing to the genus's fragmented understanding. Honorable mention. Five Maraxes gigas, these carcrodontosaurids were around 11.4 meters and 5.6 tons, but a massive abstract is 15% larger than the one we have. Honorable mention six. Acrocanthosaurus was a massive theropod predator that had weird neural spines and grew to 11.54 meters and 6.2 tons but the biggest specimens for this creature actually might be a whole different Carcharodontosaurid. Honorable mention seven is Saurophanganax, but now known as Allosaurus anax. It was a massive Allosaurid and was thought to have been 6.5 tons, but other estimates gave it a lower 4.9 ton mass. It is regarded as the second biggest Jurassic theropod after the Torvosaurus species. The last two honorable mentions are Ty Tyranotitan and Maposaurus. Both were around 6.7 tons, but Maposaurus was a few meters longer at 12.7 meters, while Tyranotitan is 11.63 meters. Now, since we quickly got the honorable mentions out, the way let's talk about the real top 10, indets and specimens are included. At number 10, 
Bahariosaurus ingens is a very fragmentary theropod with postcranial material. This giant lived in the late Cretaceous about 95 million years ago in North Africa. A research called Stromer referred a multitude of other large theropod remains to Bahariosaurus, including cervical and dorsal vertebrae, pelvic remains, a scapula, caudal vertebrae, a left and right femur, and a left fibula. Historically, the exact taxonomic placement of Bahariosaurus has been uncertain and debated. It Bahariosaurus is a controversial and poorly known theropod dinosaur, but most current research suggests it was a Megaraptoran or possibly a Ceratosaur. Has been variously assigned to several theropod groups, including the Carcharodontosauridae. While some older theories linked it to Allosaurs or Tyrannosauroids, more recent studies, particularly those classifying Delta Dromaeus and Ionoraptor, place it among the Megaraptorans, but who knows? It would have been a very large predator that coexisted with Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurid sp, and even a Kenyan giant, a massive unnamed Abelosaurid. Bahariosaurus likely preyed on large herbivores, like sauropods and other contemporary animals, though specific prey details are scarce. The size for this predator was estimated at 12.5 meters and 7 tons, making it bigger than some African elephants. At number 9, Theropoda indent. Camps theropod likely refers to Camps theropod, an informal name for a large fragmentary theropod specimen from China, now considered undiagnostic but possibly a metricanthosaurid. The name is derived from American paleontologist Charles Lewis Camp, who initially described the specimen in 1935. This big theropod is estimated at around 13.8 meters and 7.1 tons but take this with grain of salty particles, okay? At number eight, Carcharodontosaurus saharicus, also now known as Carcharodontosaurid sp, or Chemchem theropod. The partial femur, OPH2323, the original type for Carcharodontosaurus saharicus is not diagnostic at the genus or species level. Brusate and Sereno, 2007. Although the morphology of the Chemchem cranium is consistent with what was known from the holotype. There are no features linking it with the Algerian teeth to the exclusion of all other Carcharodontosaurids. The name Carcharodontosaurus saharicus is unlike. However, the proposed neotype does not meet all the requirements of the ICZN, and it is uncertain if it even belongs to the same taxon as the syntype. This unfortunately means Carcharodontosaurus saharicus is a nomen dubium, and so the Chemchem cranium will potentially require a new genus and species name moving forward. The troodontid theropod, Troodon met with a similar fate, despite also being a widely used and taxonomically important generic name. Anyway, this massive theropod was indeed a Carcharodontosaurid and lived in the late Cretaceous with other large predators like Spinosaurus. It also preyed on just about anything like hadrosaurs and large sauropods with its blade-like slashing teeth to cause major blood loss. The size of this killer was around 11.5 meters and 7.2 tons. At number seven, Seroniops picatholis is a fragmentary, controversial genus of carnivorous carcharodontosaurid theropod dinosaurs known from the late Cretaceous Cenomanian stage in the Gara Spa formation of the Chemchem beds and contains a single species. Morocco, the fossil is unique for the prominent, broad, and thick dome above the eye socket, which gave the dinosaur its name, Eye of Sauron. This distinctive skull fragment suggests it was a new species, distinct from its relative Carcardinosaurus, and likely had ornamentation. Sauroniops was estimated at around 11.9 meters and 7.3 tons. Number six, Tyrannosaurid sp, known from a large dorsal vertebrae compared to the biggest Tyrannosaurid Bruh. specimens. This giant lived in the late Cretaceous period, approximately 83.6 to 72.1 million years ago. It is either debated as Juchang Tyrannius or a whole different undescribed Tyrannosaurid. Whatever it is, 
it was in the same quarry as Zhucheng. This massive theropod would have hunted Ankylosaurids and Shantungosaurus, the biggest hadrosaurid known. Whatever this Tyrannosaurid is, it was the biggest theropod in Asia, rivaling Giganotosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex in size at 12.2 meters and 7.33 tons. At number five is the one and only famous Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Spinosaurus is a genus of large Spinosaurid theropod dinosaurs that lived in what now is North Africa during the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous about 100 to 94 million years ago in North Africa. The skull of Spinosaurus was long, low, and narrow, similar to that of a modern crocodilian, and bore straight conical teeth with few to no serrations. It would have had large, robust forelimbs, bearing three-fingered hands, with an enlarged claw on the first digit. The distinctive neural spines of Spinosaurus, which were long extensions of the vertebrae, or backbones, grew to at least 5.4 feet tall. Spinosaurus likely preyed on medium-sized dinosaurs, but were specialists in capturing very large fish. Carcharodontosaurids would have gave it some competition for food and territory, since they both lived at the same place in time. As most of you know, this animal went through countless reconstructions over the years, giving it a fully tall bipedal stance even to a four-legged knuckle crawler. But in 2025, it had short limbs with a longer, stout body, but we'll see what happens in the future. It is probably the longest theropod, but definitely wasn't the heaviest. The length was around 14.8 meters and 8.38 tons. Sigilmasasaurus and Oxalia is not currently considered a valid or well-established dinosaur genus. The validity of both of these is strongly debated, with some researchers classifying it as a distinct genus, and others arguing it is a junior synonym of Spinosaurus. Number four, the biggest described Carcharodontosaurid called Giganotosaurus carolini. This genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Argentina during the early Cenomanian age of the late Cretaceous period, approximately 99.6 to 95 million years ago. Giganotosaurus was one of the largest known terrestrial carnivores and was the biggest Carcharodontosaurid, but the exact size has been hard to determine due to the incompleteness of the remains found so far. It is in competition with other theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex for the biggest land carnivore, but the rex was actually bigger. Giganotosaurus is thought to have been the apex predator of its ecosystem, and it may have fed on juvenile sauropod dinosaurs. The holotype size of this animal was about 12.92 meters and 8.57 tons. A bigger specimen was the dentary, giga with skull fragments, yet very fragmentary, and should be taken with a grain of salt, having sizes of 13.5 meters long and 10.1 tons. Number three, Gomez, a massive Brazil theropod known from isolated partial middle caudal centrum. It lacks a diagnostic to refer either to Carcharodontosaurid or Megaraptora, but the centrum lacks the pneumatization associated typical of the latter, suggesting a Carcharodosaurid affinity. Anywho, this animal is very poorly preserved and estimates should be taken with a grain of salt particles. So depending on what Carcharodontosaurid or theropod you scale it with, you will get different size estimates, but a reasonable size guesstimate could put it at around 14.6 meters and 10.7 tons. Take this with salt particles, guys. Number two is a fragmentary Spinosaurid called Spinosaurinae indet. It is a Spinosaurinae from the Chemchem formation and is over 300% larger than the neotype of Spinosaurus. It's most likely not the same genus, and it's yet to be named as of now. So this giant is really questionable, but it is estimated at around 16.05 meters and 11.07 tons. Number one, Tyrannosaurus rex. T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus rex lived about 72.7 to 66 million years ago throughout what is now Western North America, on what was then an island continent known as Laramidia in the late Cretaceous period. It was the biggest known and strongest land predator to ever exist. 
It was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids, and among the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event. By far the largest carnivore in its environment, Tyrannosaurus rex was an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, juvenile, armored herbivores like ceratopsians and ankylosaurs, and possibly sauropods. Yeah, the T-Rex was indeed more powerful than any theropod that is known as of right now, and had the highest bite force out of any land creature. It also had great binocular vision, and possibly the best intelligence out of all the megatheropods according to some studies. Some of the largest specimens are Sue and Scotty. The biggest specimen was E.D. Cope, and it surpassed Sue and Scotty. But there are controversy on the correct size for Cope. Also, another massive specimen called Goliath could have been possibly the biggest rex ever. The Tyrannosaurus was about 12.7 meters long and weighed about 8 to 12 plus tons. Make sure to check out the Paleo Artist in the video and description below. This is my top 10 predatory theropod list for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more content, and if you have any more ideas or any questions, please comment.